part of why I brought Moto Sarge along is teaching him how to use this stuff will work for you guys too. Like I'm gonna show all y'all at the same time how to use the app and stuff like that. Show off some of this footage. But after I give him a little lesson in how to use the 360 camera, I'm actually giving him the 1X today. So today we're gonna hang out with my buddy Moto Sarge. How are you guys doing? Moto Sarge signing into the Harley Techs channel, huh? <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. So Moto Sarge is local here in Columbus, Georgia too. I guess you could probably call your home Fort Benning, Georgia though, huh? Yeah, we'll say Fort Benning. <laughs> it's easier, everybody knows where that's at. Yeah, for sure. So a uh, local photographer, videographer, has a YouTube channel linked down in the description below. And I need some help checking out the new Insta 361R. So I figured, why not have Moto Sarge help me out? I got two 360 cameras we're gonna try today. The old one that you've seen on this channel before, the One X that's still available, still a really good camera. We'll kind of compare them a little bit and do, well, I did, I did an unboxing. We'll have some ride review footage. Then we're gonna review it on our phones because there's a really cool app. We're gonna work with the app a little bit. Uh, basically, I'm gonna teach Moto Sarge how to do it and you guys are gonna hang out and get a little bit of that too. Oh, now the pressure's on. Yeah. I hope I can hang. <laughs> <laughs> it's super easy super easy that's the best part the app is absolutely the game changer for this camera actually i'm confident that, that you can do it we'll uh, unbox it really quick from a couple of weeks ago we're gonna do one of those time warp things again twin edition is the 360 camera and the 4k wide angle mod you do get a 32 gigabyte memory card which is uh maybe enough i don't know we'll find out in a second how much actual recording you can do with that and then you get the specific motorcycle bundle we'll check it out start with the camera though because i'm most excited about that of course Let's open it up looks like in the box we have the 4k wide angle this comes apart just like that got a display screen on this side the 360 version and this is actually the battery which it's pretty slick. Charge cable, of course. Comes with a frame. Comes with a frame that apparently I can't open. We'll just have to figure that out in a minute, I guess. It does come with a little silicone cover because you definitely don't want to mess up your Lenses on a 360 camera, you would be totally screwed. So, nice touch. A little adapter, like all other action cameras generally run. Do not eat, of course. Some stickers and some uh, literature. What's this? Is this a cleaning cloth? Ooh, it is. It's kind of cool. It's something that usually uh doesn't come with these kind of things all right let's see what's actually in the motorcycle kit specifically since this is the standard twin edition that you would get um if you didn't order a bundle all right so yeah lots of normal stuff uh, handlebar clamp because motorcycle life um be honest i have no idea what what this is two bar extensions so you can get it you know farther away from yourself if you wanted to helmet mount do different things with it comes with a bunch of these and oddly enough though the sticky part comes separate i don't really know why but yeah that's the motorcycle bundle and now we'll check the camera out One of the coolest parts is the, the fact that the little selfie stick, totally invisible in the frame, and it does come with the motorcycle kit. I just uh, didn't get one, so they gotta send me a new one, but I have a couple of them. If you've seen my first 360 video, I did like the unicorn mount, and I used this stick 
like fell down on me while I was riding down the road. That's so sketchy. Oh my gosh. Man. <laughs> One X. And then out of the motorcycle bundle, we'll get your bike hooked up. It's actually a, a universal mount. Unscrew this guy and it will unscrew like forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and it'll fit to pretty much anything. Moto Sarge actually does all of his own work, so I don't ever get to work on his bike. I feel like I'm actually working on your motorcycle. Check this out. Come in a little close. You just push push this tab down and you can spin this action camera mount any way you want. I'm surprised that fit because you have to get for the other brand, you have to get the uh, thick bar mount. Oh, it's yeah, it's pretty legit. So this one has a quarter 20 mount in it. And for you guys at home, just pretend like that was the one R we just set up because it's the exact same thing. It's crooked. This is true for that one too. They're both like crooked right now, but the horizon is totally level in post, which is a nice feature. All right, it does have flow state stabilization so you can see it's like bouncing on my handlebar but that's fine we'd be okay we're gonna cruise oh man i picked like the worst place ever to come out of Ugh. it cruise up to this first lookout up here and uh we'll kind of review the handlebar footage see that it looks okay and everything part of why i brought moto sarge along is teaching him how to use this stuff will work for you guys too like i'm going to show all y'all at the same time how to use the app and stuff like that show off some of this footage but after i give him a little lesson in how to use the 360 camera i'm actually giving him the 1x today um i don't need two 360 cameras he's got a really cool youtube channel he's really good with pictures his instagram is off the chain i'd like to see him have an extra little tool in his camera bag do a little deep track of Moto Sarge. The beauty of 360 degrees is the fact that I don't have to worry about where the camera's facing. So I do this weird thing where I'll, I'll ride with my face to the side and I have to look out of the corner of my eye to see that I'm going straight and I'm catching like the wood line, you know? That's cool, right? With the 360 camera mounted here on the handlebar, I just, in post, show off, uh, you know, what's up. Oh, we gotta do jamming out here? This is dope. This is, yeah, that's my favorite one. Yeah. And we got a guy playing the drum. Come on, man. This is sick. <laughs> this is, uh, I came here a couple, couple weeks ago and caught the sunset up here. Yeah. It was bad. Everybody riding today. So we made it to our first lookout out here, Pine Mountain. We're, we're gonna transfer footage. So I'm just gonna connect now to the camera. There it is. I would like to join. And I'm gonna throw footage up on the screen because looking at it through the camera on my phone is gonna be ridiculous. All right. So you scrub through the bottom like that. Mm -hmm. Find like what you want. So we know we want our ride footage even though we started early. Pick your frame so I can sit here and like find where you go past me because this is the shot I want come back here long press on you automatically tracking oh, that's tight. bam stop tracking and then I scrub through some more get that place where I pass you somewhere oh there we go come back a little bit long press on you Track you again, boom. That's super easy. And then at some point, past the lookout that was on the left. Yeah, we should, there was a car like there. Two, yeah. There was a car there, right? Yeah. So maybe I can find it really easy looking for the car. 
right there. Right there. So if I click this, there. Okay, that was it. I can keyframe it again, just like you would like keyframes in a regular thing. Mm -hmm. Keyframe it to my face. Apparently, I thought my camera wasn't recording. <laughs> a little mirror check there. Another cool thing about these is the since it's 360 degrees you can just change your aspect ratio to fit like that's widescreen like what would be on YouTube yeah, oh yeah flip it sideways boom I don't that's like letterbox 9 by 16 an Instagram story mm -hmm. one to one Instagram mm -hmm. feed like dude game that's changer yeah that's on, so easy and so it's already edited and everything I edited all this on the card while it's still in the camera. Nothing's been transferred to my phone. I can send it from the camera to my phone already edited. Nice. Yeah. That's... Which is super quick on, you know, your workflow and all that kind of stuff. Right. So flip though, which, cause one thing that I don't like about that part, like that's cool, but it needs to be there that way because Transferring a 5.7K file on like over Wi Fi is not going to be quick. Told you all this man's Instagram is where it's at. He's always got him shots. So, out here it is a really nice day to be out here. I got to get some washing tips from Moto Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I like to try my crazy mounts. I'm not going to fully extend this, but I do really want this. I just want to see what this is going to look like. So we're going to try it and either this review is going to be cool because I got a cool camera angle or this review is going to end because my camera bounced down the side of the road. <laughs> I would, don't let that happen. I'll feel bad. <laughs> I feel like it's all my fault. <laughs> no. Checking out myself in the, in the view and the only way it looks good is if it's way the heck out there. There's this video that floats around on Facebook and it's like a back corner of this dude riding a crotch rock. He's like, the camera angle's like where Moto Sarge is standing. And it looks sick. But I don't have a way to get that. I did mention though, about this uh, selfie stick thing being invisible. And I hadn't actually shown that off because that's like the bee's knees. There we go. See how in that frame, man, there, there's no stick. It's just like us chilling here on the side of the road. So you can also come over here, you, there's a quick shot button in the app. So like we're chilling here, when you're cruising through the app, you just press a little button and it takes an instant shot. So if you're real cool, you can like stand there with like your hand not looking like you're holding something if you're smart enough to figure it out. <laughs> I don't know how you don't look like you're just like standing there all freaking weird, but I guess you could do a head shot only. If you want to feel like that awkward dad at Disney World, like a <laughs> giant selfie stick walking around, like, as a matter of fact, I think, I'm, oh, I was, I was missing one of my, yeah, they have an extended one too that's like super way out there, but anyway, so invisible selfie stick, it, like the app erases this stick, all right. I gotta find a new mount for this thing. Yeah, I'm scared. Like, dude, that is so on there. Now, one thing about the 360 cameras, in my opinion, it, the only limit is what you think to do with it. Mix up your your ride footage a little bit, make it look a little different, stuff like that. We'll ride to the next lookout, okay. I suppose. The old unicorn mount, as seen on uh, Chase on Two Wheels. <laughs> So it is, it's waterproof too, which in the, on the old version, it did sketch me out a little bit. I don't have to worry about a little bit of rain while it's mounted on my handlebars. That's a good thing. The old one, I ride into Texas, it's mounted on my handlebars. I swing it down and tuck it up behind the windshield when we come to rain. Fortunately, nothing bad happened to it, but you know, definitely something I was thinking about where with this one, I would have just probably left it out. Maybe it turned it on and caught some of the rainstorms we had to ride through to get out there. But that's the most I've used 
either camera, you know, a 360 camera was on that Texas trip. I had footage of the runway where we rode and broke the world record and all that stuff. So you'll notice though when I lean the horizon stand level makes for a cool look. Then we got a lookout coming up. Oh, this one even has some picnic tables. Let me sit down for a second. I think I mentioned it on camera, I might have just mentioned it to you. I like this package more, the in the frame, you know, it pops out. Like what we're used to having as videographers, kind of the, this is the right size for what we're used to working with. I do like the fact that on this 4K, so this is the viewing screen, and then I can flip this around and now the viewing screen is this way, depending on how you want to film. So we're actually going to put it in so that it's facing us. We'll snap this battery back in and slap this selfie stick thing on it. I was talking on the bike about how this one's waterproof, that one, the 1X isn't. Kind of see some light right through it right there. That's I don't know, it just seems like one of these really important, see how you can see in there? The yeah, yeah. The it seems like is. some of these important ports and stuff that's transferring data, like, I don't know about throwing that thing in the pool. It's supposed to be five meters, I think, waterproof. I would trust it for like some light rain on the bike and I'd be okay, but I'm not jumping mm -hmm. in the pool with it. Perfect for the motorcycle. <laughs> I'll strap it. Strap unicorn mount on the front of my motorcycle. It might fall off, but a pool? No, mm -mm, not gonna do it. <laughs> it's way too sketchy. Mm -mm. No. Water damage for sure. Because you set your angle on this, seeing the selfie stick isn't really a thing. You know what I mean? It's oh, like, yeah. it's just angled out of out the frame. Of the Where the 360 camera, it's so wide angled, you're gonna see this stick in there where, uh, but just since we have it out, then we got some other uh, bikers coming to. Do you feel weird talking on camera when people are around? Uh, yes. I feel me, like they're just instantly gonna be yeah, listening to everything me too. we're saying. <laughs> I didn't think to look at, uh, I don't know what your frame rates for 4K are. For the 360 footage, they're 30 frames per second, 50 frames per second, and 100 frames per second. I wish they were more Americanized. I could handle 30, 60, and 120. If you don't understand frame rates, Moto Sarge does all sorts of stuff like that. How, how, to, how to work a camera, that's more his, his speed. I should have brought my phone over here. We're both in it. Those guys just pulled up, they're in it too. Overall, I already know that I like the app. I like the app for the 1X. I enjoyed the 1X. I know I'm gonna enjoy this camera too. I like its uh, size significantly better. What did you think of, this is your first time using a 360 camera, what do you think? I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it yeah. actually was. Like when you were showing me the app, I thought a lot of the times you're sitting there panning on your phone as you're riding, I was like, that, that's, that's crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. But, Found that you keyframe after the fact. Yeah, yeah, you can do it post edit. I like the the ability to switch out the cameras too. It seems like you have a lot more in your camera bag with just a, a small unit, for sure. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely true. You got all this stuff to work with. And once. I don't have all those bags on my bike, yeah. so that would be perfect for me. <laughs> I just leave with that in my pocket and call it a day. So everybody else knows because I said so in the beginning of the video, but. Part of the fun of this is you have a handlebar mount and the motorcycle kit came with two of those little bars, remember from the unboxing? You have one of them, I have one of them. So, and then you have the 1X on your bike. Mm -hmm. Still a selfie stick in here, charge cable, and a box from a charge cable since I just opened it. 
battery, charger, and a Cinnam blockhead bag is actually all for you. Are you kidding me, man? Nah. No, I get so. I <laughs> Shut up, bro. No, nah, man. So, uh, no. Like man. I already told them in the beginning. That's not. I even... don't need two 360 cameras. <laughs> that's not even right. Why? That's, that's that way. That's awesome. When do they come and check out your channel? You'll be learning some 360 footage and stuff. Bro, I can't. We're gonna have to go grab a beer after this on me. I drink beers. I think everywhere is closed. Damn. We'll go to Circle K. We'll go to Circle K. Yeah, send me, send me home That's to go sick, beers. Bro. I, I got to shake your hand. Yeah, man. Thanks so no much, problem, man. Dude. That's awesome, yeah. bro. So all the more That's reason sick. to check out his channel. All that stuff, all, all the one hour stuff is linked down in the description. The sale is running from March 23rd to April 12th. So you can get the motorcycle kit, all this stuff. Honestly, I don't even know what the price is because it's a deal though. They didn't tell me how much off it would be. Two cameras, you can't use them at the same time, but it's essentially two cameras, or yeah, you have a camera for two purposes. I think right. that's probably a better way to word that. I'm, I'm satisfied, I'll be using mine. I'll be using this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll be using mine. <laughs> I'll be using mine. I'm gonna roll a video yeah. right after this. <laughs> 360 footage is definitely cool. If you've got other gear, other cameras, then you can really use it to spice up your videos for sure yeah, oh so yeah. if you like this video make sure to give a big dirty thumbs up if you want to see more content like this make sure to hit the subscribe button it's right over there by my motor sergeant's face there's some videos popping up on the screen and i'll catch you guys in the next one now, how do you sign out of your videos this is motor sergeant signing out Boom. <laughs> <laughs>